Uh, hello and welcome to the quick time course on projection of points. The intention of this video is to learn projection of points in a very short period of time. So, projection of points is a topic in engineering drawing or engineering graphics studied in almost all the universities across India. So, let us see what do you mean by projection. So, projection is nothing but getting certain kind of views. In engineering drawing, obtaining certain views are very important to describe any particular component, object or so on. Okay? So, basically we will start with the point which is a very tiny particle. Okay? It could be situated in any of the quadrants. Now, what we mean by quadrant is, suppose we have the entire space, if we divide it in equal four parts, that is sectioning it horizontally, sectioning it vertically, so we will get four quadrants. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4, suppose the observer is in the right hand side. Okay? So, what do you mean by first quadrant? So, horizontal plane is sectioning the space in the horizontal direction, vertical plane is sectioning in the vertical direction. So, suppose this is the entire space, so we have four equal parts. So, this is one of the quadrant. Now, suppose a point is in the first quadrant, how shall we describe it? So, we describe it in such a way that it is above HP and in front of VP because observer is here. So, point is in front of the vertical plane and above the horizontal plane. Similarly, for the second quadrant, it is behind VP, but it is above HP. For the third quadrant, it is below HP and behind VP and fourth quadrant, it is below HP and in front of VP. So, first we shall know the location of the points in four different quadrants, how it is specified. So, this is how it is represented. Now, we shall focus on the first quadrant. So, I have drawn a perspective view here so that we can understand what do you mean by a first quadrant. So, first quadrant is nothing but horizontal plane and vertical plane. So, this is the horizontal plane HP and this is VP, horizontal plane and vertical plane. Now, the point is in this particular space, the point is in the first quadrant or point is in the first quadrant. So, certain mm above HP and certain millimeter or mm in front of VP. Okay. And we can see the observer is in the right hand side. So, projected view is the front view which is orthogonal to the vertical plane, we call that as a front view. So, front view is a view of an point when it is projected orthogonal to the vertical plane. So, this is the vertical plane. right? And when the view is projected orthogonal to the horizontal plane, we call that as a top view. Okay? And we name it as A and A dash. So, we have two views here. One is top view, one is front view. Okay? But in two mutually perpendicular planes. Okay? So, if we wanted to draw those two views together on a single plane, what we supposed to do is rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise. Okay? When we rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise, so both planes will be in the same plane. So, VP and SP separated by XY. So, this is the XY line, so separation of or the intersection of VP and SP. So, that x y line is represented here. The above x y, x y the space is v p, below the x y it is h p. And we can see this is the front view a dash and this is the top view a. And the distances matters for front view and top view are above h p and in front of v p respectively. Now, let us look at the representation of second, third and fourth quadrants. Let us discuss the points in other quadrants. So, just now as we seen, when the point is in the first quadrant above SP and in front of VP, the front view will be above XY line that is in the vertical plane and the top view will be in the horizontal plane which is below XY. Okay? Now, what is second quadrant? Second quadrant is nothing but behind VP and above SP. Right? And here what we did in the first quadrant, we rotated the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise, this is the clockwise direction so that the VP and the SP will be in the single plane. right? So, in the second quadrant also we do the same. So, rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise, then SP and VP will merge together and the result is VP, SP both above the XY line and both the front and top views will be above the XY line. 
and we can see the behind VP distance whatever behind VP distance is there that matters for the top view and the above SP distance as we have seen in the first quadrant above SP distance it is meant for the front view. In the namings you can see top view is always A and front view is A dash the same thing top view is A and the front view is B dash. So, this is for the second quadrant. Now, in the third quadrant, so third quadrant is nothing but object is below SP and behind VP somewhere here. Okay. So, again to get HP and VP in the same plane, so what we do rotate horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise. Okay. When it is rotated clockwise, we can see HP goes above the XY line, VP comes below the XY line. So, it is exactly opposite of the first quadrant. In the first quadrant, we rotate HP, HP was here. So, SP was below XY, VP was above XY. So, here it is exactly reverse and the views. Okay. So, similarly the observer will be here. So, observer is capturing the view. So, the front view will fall on the vertical plane and the top view will fall on the, so this top view will fall on the horizontal plane. So, that does not change. So, in the horizontal plane we get the top view C, suppose the name of the point is capital C. So, small c and small c dash is the name of the front view. So, here front view and top view on VP and SP, here same way the top view and front view in SP and VP. So, that does not change, top view will always will be in the horizontal plane, front view will always be in the vertical plane, only the position will change. Okay. Now, in the fourth quadrant, what is fourth quadrant is in front of VP and below SP, okay, the fourth quadrant. So, below SP and in front of VP. And when SP is rotated 90 degree clockwise, again VP and SP get merged, but the XY line will be above, VP SP will be below. So, fourth quadrant is always opposite of the second quadrant. Okay. VP SP both will be together and front and top will be always below the XY line in the fourth quadrant. The distances matters here is in front of distance, in front of VP distance matters for the top view and below SP distance matters for the front view. So, these are the representations we are supposed to remember and also we need to remember the location of the points in the four quadrants. So, first we need to remember or understand the point lies in which quadrant and then once we know which quadrant the point is lying, then we can go for any one of the representations depending on the conditions that distance from BP and SP, we can get the top and front views. Now, let us see next. Suppose the profile plane distance is given, side plane or uh, the profile plane distance is given, how to draw the profile view or the side view. Uh, now, suppose the distance from the right profile plane or left profile plane is given, okay. how shall we draw the side view? Okay. So, to draw the side view actually the distance from the RPP or LPP is not must and that does not reflect actually on the side view. Okay. So, whatever the distance can be. Uh, the side view will remain same. Okay. Let me explain which uh, distance are important for the side view. As we discussed so far, suppose there is a point A in the first quadrant, it will be certain mm above SP and certain millimeter in front of VP. Okay. So, this in front of VP distance matters in the top view, that is why this distance is in front of VP, actually this particular distance from the VP to this, that is here, that distance matters for the top view and above SP distance above SP, suppose the ground is horizontal plane, so above SP distance matters for the front view, this, this particular gap or it is here above SP. Right? Now, there is a right profile plane, again perpendicular to SP and VP, there is another plane and the distance from it is given suppose, okay, from the plane to the point suppose distance is given, that we take here. So, we draw another line x1, y1 which is nothing but we obtain from the intersection of VP and RPP. So, wherever vertical plane and RPP joins, that is nothing but X1, Y1. We can see this is VP and this is right profile plane. Right profile plane is rotated again 90 degree anti clockwise when you see from the okay. So, that it will be in the same plane, right? And the side view will fall here. So, what do you mean by side view? We look from the side, okay, orthogonal to RPP. When we look orthogonal to RPP, the side view will be called as A double dash or it is nothing but the left side view because projected on right profile plane, okay, left side view. Now, how this is obtained? We know how to obtain front end top view. Okay. Then after drawing the x1, y1 line, 
a line at 45 degree is drawn because this particular distance is very important for us. Now, what is this distance? Okay, from the vertical plane, from the x1, y1 line, this particular gap, this particular gap is nothing but same thing. Whatever distance we have in front of VP, we can see here in front of the vertical plane, whatever distance is there to the point, to this particular point, which will matters here. Because if it is more and more in front of VP, the side view will shift more and more from the RPP. Okay, so, so that is the distance which is important for the side view. Okay, so this distance and also one more thing, the side view and the front view is always on the horizontal plane. Okay, in the horizontal line okay is in the same height from the horizontal plane okay from the hp so we project the front view we rotate the top view so this is the trick to obtain the side view rotate the top view by drawing a 45 degree line and project the front view this is general for any quadrants let us solve one or two problems on projection of points so that we will get this particular uh, concept very clearly let us take an example of a point lying in the fourth quadrant. So, draw all the three views of a point lying 50 mm below HP and 60 mm in front of VP. Below HP and in front of VP is nothing but fourth quadrant. So, looking at the position of the point, we can understand which quadrant it lies and we already discussed fourth quadrant means VP, HP, I am sorry, VP, HP both below the XY line, both front and top views will be below the XY line. The distances. So, 50 mm below HP, HP distance matters for the front view and 60 mm in front of VP, so that distance matters for the top view. So, any quadrant VP, HP distance matters for top view and front view respectively. Okay? So, I can understand which is the top view, which is the front view, A and A dash here, top and front view. Okay? Now, to obtain the profile view or the side view, okay? so this is the RPP, the distance from RPP is nothing but 30. So, this distance we have to maintain as 30 from the x1, y1 line. Actually, does not matter on the view, it is only for the position of the x1, y1 line. Okay? So, top view is always rotated. So, we have to draw a 45 degree line adjacent to the top view okay? and this top view is rotated means projected horizontally and vertically. Then the front view is projected only horizontally. So, where these two lines intersect, we get the profile view or the side view. This is for the fourth quadrant. For the second quadrant, what happens? Whole thing will come here. 45 degree line will come here and the top view is rotated and front view is projected. Wherever it may be, we get the profile view or the side view somewhere here. Suppose it is the distance given with respect to the right profile plane. Suppose given with the left profile plane, all thing will come here, this will come here. So, this will become the LPP, VP, SP will be in the right hand side, just a mirroring of that. Okay. Suppose a point is in the third quadrant, first we discussed, second we discussed, fourth I told you exactly horizontal mirroring. Okay. Now, suppose in the third quadrant, okay, that is third quadrant is below SP and behind VP. So, these two will be acting as this will be the SP, this will be the VP. Okay. So, in the SP top view will be there. So, that has to be rotated about 45 degree and the side view will come here okay, adjacent to the VP or adjacent to the front view because front view will be in the VP in the third quadrant. So, it is exactly opposite of the first quadrant. Let us solve another problem. So, in this there are two points. First point is A which is 35 mm in front of VP and 50 mm above SP. And another point B is 25 mm behind VP and 45 mm below HP. So, looking at the locations, we can understand when it is in front of VP and above HP, it belongs to first quadrant. And it is 25 mm behind VP and 45 mm below HP. So, it is in the third quadrant. Okay? So, let us solve the individual points. They are front and top views. So, when, you, when the point A is in the first quadrant, 50 mm above HP and 35 mm in front of VP, the two views are projected like this. And when the point is in the third quadrant, it is behind VP, top view B, 25 mm behind VP and 45 mm below HP, so it is the front view B dash. Now, another condition is given so that we can club the two set of views. The length of the line connecting the two front views is 110 mm. 
Okay. The two front views, one is A dash, other one is B dash, must be at a distance 110. So, how shall we solve the problem? First, we need to draw the top and front view of point A, that is A 35 mm below HP in front of VP, not below HP, in front of VP, below XY line and 50 mm above XY line, that is above HP. So, we get the top and front view of point A. Okay. So, this is the first part. Second part of the solution is, this solution we know B dash must be at a distance 110, okay. but we cannot draw it directly at 110. We need to go for this 45 mm distance which is below HP. In the third quadrant, the point is B is lying in the third quadrant. So, third quadrant, the below HP distance is 45 is given in the question. Okay. So, for that particular distance, we are supposed to draw a horizontal line means on that line the B dash will lie and the distance between A dash and B dash, the two front views is 110 mm, measure 110 mm in the compass, cut a arc from A dash on the 45 mm line, we will get the B dash point. So, the front view of the point B is fixed, then we can draw a straight line and get a distance 25 mm above XY which represent 25 mm behind VP, we get the top view. So, this is how this particular problem or any problem when there are combination of two points are given, one is always drawn, another one is drawn with respect to the given condition. So, this is how problem could be solved. Now, suppose the side view of this point to be drawn, that is because this is in the third quadrant, I quickly tell you draw x1, y1 line here. Okay. Now, top view is here, so draw a 45 degree line here, this is 45 degree line rotate the top view and project the front view, this will be B double dash. So, this is how the profile view for any particular point may be lying in first, second, third or fourth quadrant could be drawn or the combination of two views are given or two points are given could be solved in a similar fashion. So, the important thing you need to remember the location of the point in various quadrants and their representations, okay. how VPHP changes the with the x y line and the top and front view. So, top view will be always in the horizontal plane, front view will be always in the vertical plane that does not matter on the quadrant which they lie. Thank you.